All right, so Jared knows something's coming, but he has no idea what to expect. Now, Jared has probably more than any other plane that we don't actually have to fly mentioned the Ford Trimotor. So when I stumbled across this bird on a secondhand website, I had to pick it up. So like I say, he has no idea this is coming. We're gonna throw it at him, make it get it up to the air. This is gonna be exciting, let's go. Oh my gosh. And then it'll tell you. Oh. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> Ford Tri Motor, make it fly. You know what the funny thing is? I almost bought this exact plane for you. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this was the challenge plane I was going to get you. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, that just looks like fun. All right. Zach? Yeah. Challenge accepted? Challenge accepted. We got mm. this. We'll make it <laughs> All right, so I thought it would be fun to get just a little more detail for you guys on exactly the, what this challenge is and uh, a little more about the plane. Turns out this is a lot of fun, just how unique and, and uh, unusual this plane is. So first of all, this is a Kavan plane. This is actually manufactured in Germany. Well, the company's in Germany. It's manufactured in the Czech Republic. What on earth it's doing in Utah, I don't know, but it's here. This was actually manufactured in 2002. This is a 17-year-old plane, and it's never been flown. Another element to this plane that's a little unusual is the fact that it is a three-channel plane. Um, so we don't have ailerons on our uh, plane that are, are movable control surfaces. Uh, that accounts for the large amount of dihedral that we see in the wings um, to help stabilize this plane and uh, keep it level in flight. So really you're just using your elevator and your rudder and that's about it. Now we have these two engine pods out on the side. Boy, wouldn't it be fun to play with some differential thrust? Uh, maybe add some flaps to this, our ailerons back in. There's a lot of really great options on this plane for us to tinker with. We just have to decide what's the right choice for, well, us in the time frame we have within the constraints of what the airframe will support. Adding to the mystique of the plane, its construction is just really unusual compared to modern standards. For instance, our wings are actually hollow. Now the hard part is this was put together, it looks like 17 years ago, again, never flown, and all of our glue joints are starting to fail. Um, in fact, you can really see just what time does to some of these planes just sitting. Um, and so we've got not only a structural question about you know, reinforcing this, but can we improve the performance of the plane? And, and that's where the real fun comes in. The challenge chain issued is make it fly. Well, that's easy. Uh, it's designed to do that, but can we make it fly in perhaps the most confusing, strange, garish, or unusual way possible? <laughs> now that's the challenge I like. So we've been toying with several ideas. Um, everything from EDFs, you know, the small little, uh, let's say, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of like a 35 millimeter, uh, that you would find on one of the Warthog models that are out there. Uh, buying a replacement nacelle, and a replacement uh, uh, EDF, super, super easy. We could have this thing screaming on EDFs instead of our, our, our motors. Well, at a minimum, even if we don't do that, we have to take and get rid of the brushed motors and upgrade them to something more modern. Say, for instance, a Power 25, three of them. Okay, that might be overkill, but you kind of get the idea. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this plane, just really seeing how far we can push it. Now again, it's an unusual plane, very unusual from the standpoint of uh, its construction, its, its design. I mean, it really has a totally different point of view in how it's been constructed. Um, you know, and that's, I think, poss possibly just from, you know, being a plane over uh, in Europe and just looking at things very differently. Uh, we have two servos that were installed by the person who assembled it, uh, rudder and elevator. And uh, our front motor mount, our front uh, motor actually isn't a motor. 
it's actually fixed. It's meant to just simply have a spinner prop on there that just blows in the wind. I think we can do something better with that too. Landing gears are iconic, but at the same time, you know, they may lend uh, themselves to being a little bit of a problem with this build. Uh, you know, smaller wheels, the foam is definitely degraded. Uh, I'd be surprised if it actually held together. So, just an unusual little plane. And I think that's why that made it so much fun for issuing a challenge. So, we're going to take... Break down a plan here, and uh, you'll see a new episode coming soon where we uh, actually tackle this project, and uh, hopefully we can put it up in the air and <laughs> bring it home in one piece at least, right? Until next time, keep flying. So, so as you can see, there's a fair degree of commitment that we at Angry Zeppelin have for you, our viewers. It's so true. All of this comes out of our own pockets, so please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below what else you'd like to see here on Angry Zeppelin. Until next time, keep, keep flying! flying.